Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Today is Tuesday, March 12th, 2013, and this is going to be my 51-week post-op gastric bypass surgery update. Um, let's go ahead and start with my stats as usual. My highest recorded weight was 278 pounds. Um, my current weight as of yesterday was 158.7 pounds. Um, that's a total weight loss of 119.3 pounds. And next week I will be one year post-op. I'm pretty excited. I kind of hope that um, I reach at least that 120 pound loss mark. That would be kind of amazing. Um, did I think I would lose this much weight in a year's time? I mean, only in my dreams did I think that, but it's actually happened. I I can't tell you how much I have been thankful for. I have felt very appreciative of my surgery. Um, I mean, especially these past few weeks, I just, I can't tell you. I, I feel like, so I haven't been losing very much weight in this past couple of months, but to be able to maintain and see a slight loss is more than I can imagine. Um, I'm still very, very happy with that. Do I want to lose more weight? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> My goal is to be about 130 pounds, so I've got about 29 pounds more to go. But slow and steady wins the race. I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. I do have loose skin, and I think that my weight loss needs to kind of catch up with that. I know that, you know, my loose skin is going to have to be corrected through plastics for the majority of it. Um, but my body still needs to adjust, adjust to all of this loss. So I am enjoying life. Um, I have tons of plans for this summer, this this year. I don't think there's been a weekend where my husband and I have been able to just sit home and relax and watch a movie or, you know, in, in a very long time. We, um, we are doing our fourth 5K this weekend, and this will be my first 5K that I'm actually going to run. Yay! I'm so excited and a little nervous <laughs> and... I think I'll do okay. Um, you know, I have knee injury that has prohibited me to do any kind of running or jogging, and um, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do. So I'm going to give it my best. I might, you know, have points where I need to stop and walk, but I'm going to pick right back up. And my goal is to cross that finish line um, under 45 minutes. I know I can walk it in 45 minutes, so I better be able to jog it in at least 45 minutes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I will give you guys my results next week. Kind of excited for that. Um, almost a year post-op. So some of my struggles through the year, water intake has been a huge one for me. And I know how important it is for us post-ops to get our water in and not, um, deal with dehydration. And I'm sure that I've dealt with dehydration, but haven't ever been hospitalized for it. I'm sure I could have been, um, but I'm finally doing great. Camelback, the water bottle, always, always have it with me. And I truly believe this is what's helped me. I even, you know, I even drink with this at home, not just out in public, not at work. I, I take it everywhere. This is how I get my water in. Um, I really like the crystallite liquid and uh, Dasani drops. Uh, the Dasani drops, I swear, is like liquid crack. <laughs> it's so freaking good. The, um, is it pineapple coconut? That has been my favorite so far. So between that and the camelback, get my water in. Um, what else? Oh, if you can't tell, braces came off. Oh yeah, two and a half years, baby. And <laughs> they're finally off. Um, so that's been exciting. I do have to wear a retainer. I did take it out to make this video because <laughs> it's really bothersome. It, right now, um, my retainer has a rubber band that goes across it and my lip catches it and pulls it up and it's just not pretty. And I sound like I'm talking with a lisp while wearing it. So yeah, I took it off. <laughs> um, 
yeah next month I'll be getting my final retainer and I will need to wear that for a year all the time and then I can go to wearing it at night only um, I did talk to my orthodontist and told him that I've got Vegas coming up and there are gonna be nights I don't want to wear it and he said that is fine so yay um, yeah Vegas is coming up <laughs> um, very excited still planning for it still deciding what we want to do we're gonna stay a few extra nights after the meet-and-greet uh, I know there's some things that my husband wants to do and some things that I want to do so uh, we just need to make our list and decide narrow it down and decide exactly what we're gonna do um, I am still gonna wait to do my shopping for Vegas clothing um, I need to get two dresses one for the night in Paris and the other one for the big gala night uh, Saturday I'm still hoping to drop that one more size before um, May well I mean, we'll see we'll see what happens I'm currently in a size 10 I did however buy a size 8 and um, as a friend of mine says uh, they are not quite street legal yet. <laughs> I love that term, Belinda. Um, I can get them on, I can get them buttoned, I can get them zipped, but um, the old muffin top, it's not pretty. <laughs> but they can get on. Um, yeah, so let's see. That's pretty much what's been going on. Um, nothing really else new to report, so I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope to have make a longer video next week. Um, you know, all the things that I've been doing, I'd like to put together a little photo um, slideshow or something of before and after pictures because, you know, that's kind of the bummer of not starting vlogging before my surgery is you guys didn't see me as this obese woman. I mean, yeah, you all need to see those pictures because I was I was a pretty big girl. <laughs> it's quite a change this year's this year's been big changes um so yeah until next week you guys all have um a great week and take care bye